Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. As my lessons progress through the ABRSM Grade 2 Discovering Music Theory Workbook, we now move on to Chapter 3, where we continue to look at the topic of rhythm, now looking at the topic of triplets and dotted rests. And so triplets are where we squish the time of three beats into the time of two beats, and then dotted rests are where we prolong a rest by half the value again. The full lesson is available on Patreon. If you go to patreon.com forward slash Sharon Bill, you'll find the full lesson there. And you can find the link to this lesson in the cards and in the description box below. After this short little video, you'll find sample examples of this lesson to show you just how I explain everything you need to know and help you to work through every single exercise. Once you feel that you're ready to take your ABRSM Music Theory Grade 2 exam, I've written an exam technique guide, how to take your ABRSM Music Theory exam. It's full of tips and hints on how to best be prepared for your exam and also how to make the very best use of the time when you're actually taking the exam. This book is available in either ebook or paperback form. It's available from Amazon and you can find the links to that in the cards and in the description box below. All of the information that you require can also be found on my website. If you visit www.sharonbill.com, you'll find everything you need there. Enjoy your studies. Bye. In this exercise one, we have to show where the beats fall. And so don't get confused by seeing a triplet sign. Just think three in the time of two. And that thinking is exactly the same. And so here we can see we should have four crotchet beats per bar. Four beats per bar and each beat is a crotchet. There's beat one, there's a crotchet's worth, there's a crotchet worth. Three in the time of two is also a crotchet beat's worth. So there's beat three, there's beat four. So the principle is exactly the same. We're just squishing an extra note in and dividing it equally amongst the beat. So here is beat one of the next bar. Here's beat two of the next bar. There's the beginning of beat three and it lasts throughout to the end of the bar with beat four. And so now how many mi how many minims are equal, that was a mouthful, how many minims are equal to this group in this triplet? So we have three crotchets with a triplet, which means three in the time of two. So three crotchet beats in the time of two crotchet beats. And we know that two crotchets equals one minim. And so how many minims? One. Now we're back to counting in crotchet beats. So how many crotchet beats per bar? So here we have three quaver beats with a triplet, which means three quaver beats in the time of two. And we know that two quaver beats is a crotchet's worth. So those three would be divided equally into this crotchet beat. And then here, let's just diagram out what's going on here. We have a quaver which is half of a crotchet beat. And then the dot gives us half as long again. So that's half of a half is a quarter. And then the semi-quaver here is the remaining quarter of a beat. So we have three quarters and then a quarter of a beat, which of course gives us a crotchet beat. So we can see beat one, beat two. Let's double check this final bar. We have three quaver beats in the time of two quaver beats which we know is one crotchet there's one beat and then we have a quaver note and a quaver rest which again is a crotchet beat so one two so that's correct two